couple of people DM'd me about the Rigger Fight to Blender video to Cascado. And they complained about that the uh, deformed bones changed. So some people want to take like a game rig or they already have the rig ready and they don't want to make changes because they want the same deformation in their game engine, Blender or whatever. And the same thing in Cascado. So this video is for you. I have Wormwood rigged here. Let's transfer the same deform rig here to Cascado. So the same deformation you get in here, you will get inside Cascado. Rigify works with this deform rig. These are the bones that move the character mesh. And the way they move is that they have multiple constraints and setups on them. So they follow the control bones. With control bones, I mean these fancy bones that have pretty widgets and stuff. The workflow is really straightforward or not, you will see. So th this one is the, the form layer. So we'll select all the other layers and we delete them. Make sure to make a copy of your file so you don't miss it. I will make a copy right now. Yes, just so I don't miss my little guy. So, and then you would think, oh, I can get my character, export, BX, I'll go to my folder, mesh, armature, selected objects, and then an armature, go only the form bones, just to make sure, no animation. And we export. Then we go to Cascado, import model, the folder here. The scale is off, but that's okay. Now let's say yes. And uh, let's say you, you rig it normally. The problem is right here. Your hierarchy of bones, it's all messed up. What I mean with that. The bones we, we have, the deformed bones from Rigify, their hierarchy, it's messed up. Like, say the neck isn't connected to the spine. The arms are not connected to the shoulder, so they're not parented. Legs to hips here, hips to spine. We will parent the bones. I can control P and keep, you can go keep offset. So I just set it to quick favorites. So the problems I found were like neck to spine. In the case of the neck to the spine, you can connect. And then sh uh, clavicle to the spine. And nipples to the spine. Same thing like here, hips to the spine. This one's the root. And this specific rig, because he's not like a fully humanoid, I had problems with his fingers. So, parent them to the hand. Let's go to the other side. The, the, and this can be like quite boring, but you only need to do this one time. I think the foot is okay. Yeah, foot's good. Head is good. Yeah, I think that's it. So, like, the standard one will be like uh, clavicles to spine, nipples to spine, uh, tights to, to hips, hips to spine, maybe fingers to hand, hand to, to arm. You need to test out. So, we export it normally, FBX. Here, my, because my, my character is big, so I need to set him to 0 0.1. So, armature. No, not a plan on fire. So, God, where is it? Look here. Only the form bones. Mesh armature selected. Then we export. So, we import model. Click yes, yes. Then, okay. So, here is the spine, the, the root, the first one down here. And what I like to do in this character, because I, I did this like a 
couple of times to do this tutorial. I like to spine one and then I go like to spine three. It's what worked for me. So neck, ignore neck one, and then head. And then in the arms, you get the first one. So upper arm, and then you have like the duplicate, you jump him and go forearm. Then you jump the second, the duplicate and go like to the hand. And that's good. So select the tight here. So tight R. We jump the duplicate. We go shin. And then foot. And then toe. So everyone here is dot R. So the original is dot R. The mirrored is dot L. And then add O. Oh. Oh, did I mess it up? For some reason, it doesn't want to work. Hey, you. There you go. It worked. Yay! <laughs> Add rig elements. Then continue editing. And in the other tutorial I did, I explained about this, but let's go real quick. This triangle here needs to point out outwards so we go local and we flip this also this tip here needs to be in the tip of your foot because this will detect the collision with the floor so you just adjust here you can adjust one side the other one you will mirror and then we'll go here physical settings set this to 10 I think 10 is okay. 10 here. No, maybe 5 because this is a big bone. And then this is like a bit off. Click, drag, select. Let's see. Oh, it went into the whole chain. Come on. So. I can't hide this. Come on, Cascado. Don't troll me. Oh, uh, good. Oh, okay. So then we enter the edit mode and we will set this tip here. We'll be like there and then we'll set it up close here. It needs to be on the tip of the soap because this will collide with the floor. Then here, we make this same size of your foot, because this will be used to detect collision. So yeah, more or less there, it's okay. And this other one too, you will have it like below your heel, like ground level. Then to mirror it, we double click in the leg chain, we delete rig element, we double click in the one we have, mirror group, create mirror object. There you go. And you also check the knees, this triangle needs to point outwards from the target here, like this. And here one up, the other back. And basically you can generate rig. And I got it, something wrong with the clavicle. Well, let's see if, it's, it, if it works. Yes, the clavicle bugged out. Also, instead of going to rig fire edit mode, selecting the bones and deleting them manually, you can download the game rig tools by CG Dive and you can generate a game rig. You can set up your options here i recommend that you go through his tutorial so you understand it better but what basically does is just get the game rig ready like the form one but no the parents are not fixed see here still not parented neither here or here so we need to repair everything for rigify yeah see you guys bye